Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make text fly in Cinema 4D like this. You're going to learn how to make individual letters come from all directions and make them all go back into one singular spot. So let's start. You're going to want to open up Cinema 4D, go to the MoGraph tab, and go down to Mo Text. Now you can change this to whatever you want, but make sure you have it all right before you go on. So let's just name this, I don't know, let's just make it something small. So how about CCM? M. All right. Shut up, computer. All right, so once you have that, you're going to select, you know, whatever font you want. It really doesn't matter. Blah, blah, blah. I'm let's just go with... How about my favorite bank gothic? Where are you? Okay. You know, blah blah blah. You can make the depth more or less to make it bigger or smaller. So let's just go to about a hundred. Right, give or take, whatever, it doesn't matter. Alright, so once you have your like your text finalized, this is what you want. You're gonna click MoGraph, like select it up here, and press the C key. And then you're gonna open it, open it open it and then click off of it click the C shift hold and click the M and it'll select C through M and you're just gonna take it and drag it out like that so now you see that it's not no longer a part of this so you wanna take the Motex and just delete that so now all you have is the individual letters right here alright so you see this is our timeline right here you can see it's not doing anything right now but you're just gonna take it and put it wherever you want it to finish to end up like this so it'll all end up straight lined like this so let's just say we want it at 60 frames so the C will mark it at 60 press the little keyframe frame button right there we're gonna do it for the second C too take it keyframe the first M keyframe and the last M and keyframe it at 60 so now whatever you do to the beginning it'll all go and always end up back like this in the end which will be at 60 frames so take the thing move it back to zero and keep it there so now you can take this little thing at the top right here and readjust your angle so you have a better shot at this and pretty much do whatever you want to the objects to move them where you want them so I'm gonna select the position mover tool and I'm gonna select the first C you know let's just move it out and let's move it up and then we're going to select the rotate key the tool and I don't know you can rotate it however many times you want so I'm going to you know that looks good so I'm going to hit the keyframe thing down here so at 60 frames it'll flow right back into where it's supposed to go like that now I'm going to fast forward this while I do that same step for the other three letters Alright, now once we have them all keyframed, you can see that they all are going to spin and go right back into place like they should. Just like that. And it's that easy. And let's just say you want to add a color to this, you know, to make it look pretty. So let's just take a color, hmm, how about blue, why not? Go here, select. You know, it doesn't really matter with reflection or whatnot. We're just doing a basic color for now. So you're just going to have to drag it on each one of these or just select them all and stick it on there but still it's pretty cool and there you have it that is your basic spinning floating flying whatever you want to call it text tutorial in cinema 4d hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe to stay tuned for more tutorials i know that there's going to be a couple more after effects coming out more photoshop and more stuff like this